So the AC40 is you know, an incredibly complicated boat, but to make it simple and easy as possible to sail for the Youth America's Cup and Women's America's Cup, the systems on board have been designed so that it's actually quite an easy boat to sail despite how complex it is. One of the things that makes the boat so easy to sail is the autopilot. So there's a simple button here on the left hand side which you can just switch the boat into autopilot mode and then effectively for flying the boat you've got two real inputs. You can either adjust the height at which the boat sails or how much foil you have in the water with a simple plus and minus and then there's the trim so you can change the attitude of the boat. More bow down, more bow up and so you know for someone like myself who has a lot of foiling experience but never sailed a boat like this it's been pretty easy through the commissioning just with the way that the, the autopilot software works. So then the other uh, panel of buttons here is all to do with the boards up and down system. So you've got a board up button and a board down button. You can also do a plus and minus on the cant system. So effectively from this seat here, you can do all the functions you need for, for flying the boat. So the AC40 start with four people. You've got two people on each side. As you can see, I'm in a bucket seat here and we've got another one at the back. I'm almost sitting on the floor, so you're incredibly low and out of the wind, and it's the same configuration on the other side. And then the aero trimmer sits behind you and they've got controls for the mainsail and the jib at the back of the boat. So one of the cool things about this is you can choose if you want to trim the mainsail or the jib, because every time you tack and jibe, you know, the way the boat's been designed and that the mainsail trimmer will be sitting on the windward side and the jib trimmer will probably be sitting to leeward because they have a much better view of the jib. So a simple button press will switch you from main functions to jib functions. And then you've got a bunch of push buttons. So you've got Cunningham control, the clue position. So you've got the car that slides on the clue. So you're basically creating more depth in the sail or making the sail flatter. When you tack and jibe, um, obviously the mast needs to rotate. So a button actually lights up it turns purple and you push that button and it rotates the mast. So there's a lot of software that's been developed in the background to stop you basically doing any damage to these boats. So, you know, if you're overpowered, you can just hold your finger on the Cunningham, you pump it super hard, it hits a pressure relief, the lights up and says you're at max load and you can take your finger off the button. So effectively, you can just focus on how much power you want upstairs on the sails and, and what kind of heel you want. And so you got one hand on a joystick, doing your heel control and then your other fingers are doing you know your, your standard Cunninghams and outdoor setups.